Hello, my name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to discuss with you the ATC SEM19 loudspeakers. This video will discuss the design, build quality, and my sound impressions of the SEM19 paired up with a few amplifiers and DACs I have in-house, including my solid state reference, the Mishi X3 integrated, my Audio Research i50 integrated tube amplifier, and the Macintosh MA252 I have in for review. Let's first talk a little bit about who ATC is. ATC, a British loudspeaker manufacturer, was formed in 1974 by Willie Woodman to manufacture custom drive units for the professional sound industry. Over the next several decades, ATC established themselves as one of the world's top reference quality precision-made studio monitor manufacturers, with a client list so long it would take me an entire video to go through them all. Some of the legendary music artists they have worked with are Pink Floyd, Mark Knopfler, Lenny Kravitz, Calvin Harris, Enya, Roger Waters, Beck, The Rolling Stones, Kate Bush, Ziggy Marley, Coldplay, Diana Krall, Joe Satriani, The Killers, David Gilmore, Skrillex, Axwell, Frank Ocean, The Chainsmokers, Agnes O'Bell, John Mayer, Zed, and Sting to name a few. Their loudspeakers can be found worldwide and used by many of the top engineers, producers, studios, sound stages, concert halls, film, broadcast, and post-production studios, including the legendary Abbey Road Studios. ATC is also deeply committed to multi-channel mastering and is directly involved with the leading players in the professional audio industry, including Sony Music and Telarc. ATC products can be found at some of the world's most prestigious multi-channel studios. Now that we know more about ATC, let's talk about the build quality of the SEM19 speakers pictured in black ash in this video. The speakers are beautifully crafted and are pretty substantial in both size and weight for a bookshelf speaker. Weighing 39.2 pounds, standing 17.2 inches tall by 10.4 inches wide and 11.0 inches deep without the grills, which add another 1.1 inches to the depth, so you will want a proper heavyweighted stand for these speakers. ATC recommends that the stand height should position the acoustic center of the speaker at or close to ear level. The midpoint would be between the bass driver and the tweeter for their two-way loudspeakers. The two-way passive SEM19 uses a new ATC built by hand dual suspension 25mm soft dome HF unit tweeter with precision alloy waveguide with a massive neodymium magnet structure. The SEM19 uses an ATC super linear 6.5 inch mid bass driver with a 75mm integral soft dome for the mid and lower frequencies. The speakers use a 9kg optimized short coil long gap motor assembly and an in-house hand wound precision flat wire coil. The SEM19 is an 8 ohm speaker with a match response of plus or minus 0.5 dB. They have an FR of 54 Hz to 22 kHz, a sensitivity of 85 dB, a max SPL of 108 dB, and a crossover FR of 2.5 kHz. ATC recommends a power amplifier capable of 75 to 300 watts to optimally drive these speakers. The SEM19 includes two sets of speaker binding posts if you prefer to buy wire. The speakers include a six-year user warranty and are offered in cherry and black ash for veneered finishes and satin black and satin white for painted finishes. For more product specs and current prices of the speakers, please check the links in the video description. So let's discuss how the SEM19 sound. I would classify the ATC SEM19 speakers as neutral sounding speakers with exceptional detail and resolution. Their soundstage is quite good, traveling well outside of the speakers in terms of left and right and in depth behind the speakers. The SEM19's ability to resolve both macro and micro detail in recordings is superb. I can hear why ATC speakers are preferred by so many professionals working in the audio industry. The mid-bass punch sounds good to my ears and presents tight and dynamic in nature. The speaker's timbre for instruments falling in the treble region and the mid-range is exceptional and accurate. Some instruments that can benefit from a speaker with a bit more bass in the lower frequencies such as the bass guitar, electric guitar, organ, or some synthesized music I found to be a bit lacking when listening to the speakers as they are a sealed design with no port and roll off around 54 Hz. However, I'm also quite used to listening to full range speakers that reach around 32 Hz. So it will depend on the type of music you listen to, your room, and whether having full range sound for your music is critical. Suppose it is as essential for you as it is for me. In that case, you can still obtain all the fantastic benefits of the SEM19 loudspeakers, such as their magnificent imaging, detail retrieval, and accurate timbre, and simply add a pair of stereo subwoofers. When I incorporated my RHEL T9X stereo subwoofers into my listening sessions, I was blown away by how good this combination sounded, regardless of the amplifier I was listening with. 
Listening to electronica and modern produced pop was fantastic with the subs and SEM19, giving me a detailed, neutral, accurate, and lifelike mid-range and treble region with bass that could be felt and truly appreciated from the real subwoofers. If subwoofers are not your cup of tea, you can always look at one of ATC's more prominent speakers with a wider FR. When adequately powered, the SEM19s present a non-fatiguing distortion-free sound that will have you hearing things in recordings you may not have picked up on previously with lesser speakers. Another cool thing is that ATC speakers, according to their rep, require no break-in period, but only time for the listener to adjust to their overall sound. This is one of the main reasons studios love them so much. They can play them for hours and hours, years and years, and the speaker sound doesn't change. With the speakers being 85 dB, they best pair with amplifiers that can deliver the power the speakers need for them to sound their best. One exception I have in-house that continues to punch above its specifications regarding power output is the Audio Research i50 integrated tube amplifier with an internal AKM DAC. This pairing was glorious to listen to in my room. My seating position is about 9 feet away, so if you have a larger space and seating position further away, you may require a tube amplifier with more power. The SEM19 speakers will present the quality of your amplifier and source components, so quality amplifiers and components should be paired with them for the best results. I also felt these speakers didn't reach their full potential audibly until they played around medium to higher listening levels. The ATC19 easily outresolved my reference Kef LS50 Meta Bookshelf speakers and can produce exceptional soundstage even if you're not sitting in the sweet spot at all times. As I found out when sitting in the other two listening positions in my room, which means they are great speakers if you plan on entertaining or working on mixes with other people sitting around you. Both male and female vocals sound pretty beautiful on the SEM19. Since they don't dip lower than 54 hertz, some vocals may not present with as much fullness depending on the singer's voice. However, the vocals sound so lifelike and large on the soundstage, especially when paired with the Macintosh MA252. The MA252 also allowed me to adjust the bass with its built-in tone control, which I enjoyed for adding subtle warmth and additional bass energy with the SEM19 speakers. The ATCs are fast sounding speakers, able to present the quality of your amplifier, source components, and transients in complex music passages. The Mishi X3 integrated amplifier sounded fantastic as well when paired with them. I found that I prefer the velvet sound of the AKM DAX with the integrated amps I have in-house, such as the Audio Research i50 and Mishi X3 when paired with the SCM19s, versus feeding the more analytical Cord Hugo TT2 through those amps. However, paired with a warmer, more colored sounding Macintosh MA252, the Cord Hugo TT2 and the SCM19 speakers was an exceptional match for a more musical listening experience in my room. If you are in the market for a reference two-way bookshelf speaker and you have the room for its larger size, I highly recommend you get out to your local dealer to give them a listen. Paired with stereo subwoofers, they sound sublime for all genres of music. Without subwoofers, they sound excellent for some genres of music I listen to, especially regarding some of the qualities I have mentioned, such as their resolution, detail retrieval, timbre, soundstage size, and accuracy. If you're in SoCal, we would love to see you stop by our 10,000 square foot showroom, hang out with us, and listen to many of ATC's best speakers. If you're interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new set of speakers or a new amplifier, check out the links in the video description to our trade up program, and don't forget we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements, so please consider subscribing to our channel today. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of the ATC SEM19 loudspeakers. While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.